幾多の騒乱によってもたらされた傷も癒え合田の国には平穏な日々が訪れていたそしてアリシヒの姿を取り戻しつつある東忍び流の里から今宵もまた任務へと赴く影がある商人越後屋六兵衛裏でさばいた刀や種子島で私腹を肥やし他国とのつながりが噂されている男である<笑>生黒刀が銀菓子に変わるとはいやはやうまくやったものよ。これで甲田の国とも手切れとはなんとも名残惜しい限りじゃわ小川原ともはむごいことをしよるうんうはははつれば皮肉なものいいよ Hey everyone, welcome to Tenchu Z. This is a game that I played a crap ton of, and I actually really enjoyed it. It came out in 2006, it's 10 years old now, almost 10. It actually predates、um, the original Assassin's Creed game, which is a game that it plays very similar to. Alright, try to remember these controls here, it's been a while. Yeah, alright. Alright, that's an enemy that's moving. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked at the controls before I started. There we go. That's Crouch. Alright. So, before I really explain the game, let's go ahead and point out this guy. This guy here with the, with the hat like this. And these pants and this look. There's one of these guys on each mission that's technically the collectible in the game. And there's one on each map, so you gotta kill them. Now, normally, you can't just run up like this because you make too much noise. But my character is a little more advanced. It has, you know, footsteps that make them quieter, that kind of stuff. So, when you first start the game, you actually gotta crouch and then. Do a bunch of rolls are silent. That's how you move around. Like that. But when you get high enough level, you can do this. That item I got is the grappling hook. I use that thing probably. Nope, get down. Get down. Down. There we go. So, each map is kind of like a sandbox thing it's got going on. This is the general map for this particular level.、Uh, obviously, we started at the bridge at the bottom. You know, but you can go about it any way you want to do the missions. You got these bad guys, they kind of have their own pattern. You're supposed to get used to it. Not a big deal. Just like you e x p e c t from maybe an Assassin's Creed. So, okay, over to the right there, that's grapple hook and a shirt kind of picked up. On the left, green means everything's okay. It'll change colors depending on what's happening. The red is the health bar, obviously. And the black and white bar is how visible you are. I should be able to just. Well, he's not there, but I can walk right by him, kind of thing. I prefer the full stealth approach. My stats are always set up for quiet, you know, stealthy, less health. I t h i n you see a lot of that. I don't really use a lot of items. And obviously, the enemies get more advanced. There will be ninjas, there will be dogs, there might be dog ninjas, I don't remember. 
You know, more than just guys walking around with a lamp who can't see very well. This is probably a dumb move, but I'm going to go around this way. Don't really want to step to the light this much like I just did, but... If you make a move, you make a move. Oh, see, he sees him. You see that yellow? That means he's going to come over here and take a look. So i got to bring him way over here now. Alright, he lost interest. And like most Japanese games, they have a ranking system. This one, you have to, the rank system is called Ninja. One, two, three, four, five, five being the best. And all it is is an accumulation of points on the mission. I believe it's like 900, 950 to get the high rank. And depending on what you do, um, a kill is worth 100. If you get spotted, like that, I didn't get spotted back there. Yellow means they think they saw some. If it turns into like an orange fire, that's, that's them actually spotting you. That's basically minus 100 points. And then also how long it lasts is also minus points. But generally speaking, you know, like every time you fuck up, you gotta kill another person. So it's not a big deal. We'll end it there. I know this was more of a almost like a tutorial, but I just want people to know the mechanics of the game, because I'm going to be playing this for all 50 missions here. Obviously, I'll do less of that as it goes on, but, you know, I find it's easier to follow when you know what the heck's going on. I'll explain the plot next time as well, too. This video is almost over, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there'll be more, more complicated missions. You'll probably see me mess up, fuck up more, but we'll see. All right, yeah, I see 1090 points is over 9, 950, something like that. Four stealth kills, the specials. Um, the specials are the details over there, because it was a kill, a uh, you know, kill of it was like an assassination against a VIP. That's 300 points. I didn't get hurt. That's 100 points. Using the grapple hook doesn't count as an item. So I didn't use any items, that's 100 points, and nobody saw me, so the fire, so that's 150. And if you get that every time, it's very simple to get the rank 5. Alright guys, I'll catch you later.